26 years ago, Avid took a piece of film and converted it to a digital file record and allowed the industry to do things that simply weren't possible before that. 26 years later, a lot has changed. And the strategic value of editing um, is still important, but it's not where the pain is. The strategic pain is about all the other components of the value chain. And so I think Avid is less about being great editorial tools, which by the way, we won every single ACE award our, our clients did. Any Oscar that mattered, um, on, and on the audio side, any Grammy that mattered. So we still, I think, have the standard for video and, uh, and audio mixing and editing. But unfortunately or fortunately, that's not the problem. The problem isn't your editor. The problem isn't your storage. The problem isn't, um, you know, uh, another camera format. The problem is the entire workflow needs to be addressed. And so I see Avid less as initially an editorial company and more as a technology partner for media industry. And initially, we focused on where the pain was, lowering production costs through better editorial tools. Today, the pain is somewhere else and Avid wants to lead once again. And so I would describe Avid as a technology partner for the media industry, bringing the latest technologies to the biggest problems the industry faces um, uh, to lead this industry in partnership with our clients so that we can all experience the joy of these amazing stories. And you heard me talk about last year, what an incredible year, just another, another year for our industry but what's fun about looking at those a few thousand people that you saw is these are the best storytellers in the world helping us get better and we owe it to them to solve their big problems um, so yes we still want to have great editorial tools but we know they need efficient storage they need to deal with audio integration they need workflow management and that's why MAM has to be at the center it's hard for us to have argue we have the this ecosystem that I'm not aware anybody else has. Um, and that's one of the advantages, Avid. When we think about 4K, we can't just think about you know, uh, editing. We have to think about mixing and audio, ingest. We have to think about distribution. We have to think about storage. We have to think cloud collaboration. We have to think about production asset management, media asset management, because we have all those products. And that forces us to align very closely with our clients. And to really credibly deliver that, for large media enterprises, the asset management has to be at the center of it all. Because in the end, what are we in the business to do to create and monetize fantastic media? And so we're excited about the launch of, uh, of our latest MAM product, and you're going to see Avid uh, stake its claim on the MAM area. We think it's wide open. We have you know thousands of installations, uh, and it's something I think to successfully run a media company today, you have to be big in the MAM. And so, we intend to really lean into the MAM area uh, for the benefit of our clients. What does it all mean for the organization uh, of, uh, of Avid? Um, if you are broadening your, uh, your, uh, your business, if you are um, um, trying to, to work on more uh, and different fields like uh, you mentioned sports production, uh, live production, um, uh, and uh, and many and, and graphics and uh, this um, this does it mean that your that the company is going to grow that uh, the the company structure is going to uh, to grow as well? Yeah, I mean, you know, at its simplest form, a lot is happening at Avid, and it's been an unbelievable two years as I've been here so far. And you know, as CEO and leader, a lot of times we're focused on what we've been doing better because there's so many areas we can do better, but. I think it's safe to say when you look back, people are pretty amazed at how much we've done in such a short period of time. And if you look at our economics results, they've also dramatically changed and improved. Um, and so we hope that uh, that'll continue. Our last reported quarter, as I mentioned, you know, uh, we raised our guidance and then we, exceed, we, we achieved the top end of that. Our cash flows doubled, uh, you know, uh, subscriptions uh, were, grew 65 percent. I mean, there's a lot happening uh, here at Avid because the market really needs somebody, a player to come in. So yes, um, there's a lot of dimensions changing about Avid. We're expanding our uh, product suite. Uh, we're opening up the ecosystem to everybody. That makes changes organizationally in the kind of people we have to hire. Um, we're also distinguishing more between the tiers. So uh, we've been speaking mostly about tier one broadcasters. 
Um, but there's also tier two, and now, as you heard, we're going after the tier three market. It's a $1.8 billion market that we don't really participate in. And by offering subscriptions of Media Composer for $49.99 a month or $24.99 a month for, for Pro Tools, um, now we announced, as you heard, I think you heard it first, you, by the way, <laughs> you scooped uh, the rest of the world because you heard, not only Pro Tools first, but Saturday where you were there, we announced Media Composer first. And now everybody can tell their story and participate in this ecosystem. And that group, who the, where the App Store, with Cloud Storage, with the Content Marketplace, where you can sell your goods and services, uh, that's really inviting all the independent professionals and aspiring pros to join this community. And so they, before this, didn't have a way to participate with the Avid products because we didn't have a subscription-based model. We not only delivered a subscription-based model, we also have a free version where you can start. Now, why settle for second um, uh, tier products? You can have the best in the world for the same price. The interesting thing about the growth in our subscriptions, 90, 92% have come from a competitive uh, video editing product, um, which tells you that if they could have the best for the same price, they would, and that's what you're seeing with all these clients moving over to Media Composer in the cloud. So that's been a lot of fun, subscription-based. And what does it mean to, to your dealers? Uh, because their business models uh, probably change as well. Yeah, absolutely. So d the, uh, the distributors and our resellers naturally were concerned initially, but you know, it's interesting. We think they're a huge advantage. You know, they supply us with about 3,000 salespeople around the world through our relationships, and we include them in everything. And so even on cloud delivery services, they get credit for any customer that they bring in. Uh, we think they play a valuable role, and unlike a lot of other vendors, we've embraced them. Uh, you know, the Avid Customer Association that you saw, uh, by charter, Avid can't be on the board of directors because it's supposed to be for our customers. But we made sure that our partners, our resellers, sit at the board with our own customers. So I think that's uh, a demonstration of how important they are to us. The good thing about our resellers is they get to enjoy all those growth metrics I just talked about at Avid. Well, they're experiencing the same thing. So naturally, they're, help, they're happy that we're giving them more products to sell, we're becoming more strategically relevant, and we're giving a way to help where they can participate in each tier. Very large media companies, you know, station groups and post houses, all the way down to the independent professional. And I would say they're all taking advantage of it in some way or another. You know, ev everyone does it slightly differently. But I think, uh, you know, they're part of the family too, and we want to see them be successful, and we've openly embraced them. And the number of resellers is growing, or are you going to reduce it to some key distributors? We went through all of our relationships last year, 100%. Over 26 years, we had everything from handshakes to contracts to practices and everything in between. We went through every single one and canceled them all to renew them so that they're all consistent, so that they can work together with us as one organized unit. In the process, we decided to eliminate almost half of our resellers globally. And the ones that we have now, the ones that we think really have invested in Avid, they're going to get the pleasure of all these new products and a lot more to sell in their markets. Resellers are critical for delivery and service in the end markets to complement our own um, you know, penetration globally. And um, I think they're very excited about the fact that they're going to have more products to sell.